What's going on guys? Happy 4th of July. I hope you guys are all doing well out there. You guys are enjoying some good food, enjoying your family around you, and just having a great time overall. Admittedly, I just got done with a long day of work, so I'm a little tired, but I wanted to touch upon a few things with this video. Now, every single year on the 4th of July, Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest happens. Now, for those of you who aren't really aware about competitive eating or really what goes on in the world of competitive eating, this is essentially the Super Bowl of competitive eating. Joey Chestnut took back his title and ate 70 hot dogs. Absolutely mind-blowing. So, big shout out to you, Joey. Great job. My boy Matt Stoney came in second place with 51, I believe, but absolutely amazing job on his part, too. And also a huge shout out to our loyal subscriber, Sophia DeVita. Guys, go check out her channel. Link will be in the description. She, I believe she took down 15 or 16 hot dogs. She did awesome for her first contest. So again, huge shout out to you, Sophia. Now a lot of people have been asking me, I've been getting messages all day, Snapchats and everything. Eric, why didn't you do Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest? I'm watching it right now and you aren't up there. Quite clear, everybody, there's a lot that goes into the answer to this question. Now, since I get asked this a lot, I will let you guys know I have a full-time job. YouTube isn't uh, essentially my main source of income. I work full-time in a bicycle shop, and uh, essentially it's just me and my manager running a bike shop, and you know we're open seven days a week, and obviously on the 4th of July as well. So uh, this is something that, I mean, I have a big boy job, so I have to be there too. Unfortunately, it was the case last year as well. I had to work last year. It's always been my goal to compete at Nathan's, and I really feel like uh, it's one of those things that I will do in the future if I really set my mind to it. Uh, before every single Nathan's contest, there's qualifiers that exist and that happen uh, throughout the country, and the closest qualifier was about two months ago, and it was in Las Vegas, and it was during the time that I was filming the Cheetathon Challenge uh, as well, so it wasn't something that I was realistically able to go out and do. And uh, I feel like if I were to go next year and really uh, build up my capacity a little bit more, I would do uh, pretty good, possibly even qualify for it. And uh, I feel like I actually probably could have done it this year, probably could have qualified for it. Would I win Nathan's? Of course not, probably not. Well, no, of course not. <laughs> but now would I do Nathan's for the experience? Definitely. There are so many awesome people that I've met in Major League Eating in the MLE totally would do it. Now on the other hand, would I do Nathan's consistently and be a part of all of that? Thinking about it a little bit differently, there is another side to Major League Eating that I'm not a huge fan of. And I have to be completely honest here guys, I try to be as real as possible with these videos. And uh, essentially when you do Nathan's hot dog eating contest, and depending on if you win money and sometimes even if you don't win money, uh, you're required to sign with them. And uh, guys, I'm uh, somebody that's completely independent. I don't like to be a part of any contracts or part of any uh, deals or anything like that. It's pretty common even on YouTube to get approached by networks that want to sign with you, that want you to be a part of them uh, so they can grow your channel. And I don't even respond to emails anymore. It's not what I'm about. I'm, I'm, I'm just me. And uh, I don't want to be a part of anybody's uh, contract or anything like that. Uh, essentially, when you sign with MLE, uh, it can be an awesome experience as well. For people that don't have full-time jobs and are able to travel that much, I mean, I work full-time, I go to school, I have so much other stuff going on, uh, just like YouTube and everything like that. And if I did sign with them, I wouldn't necessarily be able to do YouTube like I do YouTube. I wouldn't necessarily be able to do restaurant challenges. Essentially, uh, your uh, your freedom to do all this stuff is a little bit restricted. So that's why I didn't do Nathan's this year. And I uh, started to disappoint a lot of you that were expecting me to be up there, but uh, if I do decide to do it next year, then I'll do it next year. Uh, that's just where the cards lay right now. Pretty amusing to see that PETA actually stormed up on stage and tried to disrupt the actual contest itself. <laughs> actually something that was amusing but also had me raising my eyebrows. 
For PETA, I'm not gonna say I'm not a huge fan of them or that I dislike them. I just mainly dislike their methods of getting their point across. Throwing flour on people, and in this case, uh, running up and onto the stage and tossing over plates and uh, squirting blood all over people is just not the way to get your point across, in my opinion. Uh, I feel like there's uh, better ways to uh, to get your point across, to spread your message, to uh, to be uh, to engage in healthy and civilized protests. And this just wasn't one of those ways. And for me, there's a lot that's actually gone on too in the past that's actually been a thousand times more extreme than this. I mean, if firebombing animal research facilities is a way to get your message across, sorry, I just don't agree with it. That's just my own personal opinion. The overall message itself, I can definitely agree with and I can definitely uh, see eye to eye with them, just not in that sense. So it's been about a month since I last did the uh, 50,000 calorie challenge and and to be quite honest with everybody, I've been enjoying life. I've been focusing on me. I've been uh, trying to do a lot of self-exploration. That's why I've begun this whole self-experiment thing within myself to kind of just take some me time and relax. Uh, granted, uh, you all have pretty much come to my channel for uh, different things. The majority of my subscribers are mainly here for food challenges. And then again, there are some of you who aren't here for food challenges. That's awesome too. Uh, for me, uh, I always will have a passion for competitive eating, for just eating a lot of food, uh, passion for food in general. And uh, right now, uh, I definitely feel like a, a month break was good for me. But I'm going to let you guys know, I have something very big coming up within the next few months. Uh, something, I want to say even bigger than Nathan's. And of course, guys, expect a challenge very, very soon. I suggest tuning into my live streams that happen every Wednesday and Saturday night. I just might reveal it pretty soon. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you liked it. And again, hope you're having a great 4th of July. If you guys haven't already, follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. And if you guys haven't already, give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks again for watching, guys. And go ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh